okay I got the master cylinder got a lot of fluid in it there this one is actually for the front this one's for the rear and I'm down here bleeding just using a gravity I've got a 10 millimeter socket on here I've got a tube and I've got it opened about a half a turn and that's what the flow rate is at a few drops that's with no pressure that's just gravity I do have a little bit of a kink in here because it's so confined and left you get the probably need a smaller diameter tube but that's with no pressure no pumping of the brakes the fluid will slowly go up if you go look here you'll see it slowly going up and that's just due to the head pressure of the uh, master cylinder being about I don't know probably 18 inches half a meter say roughly so here's a finger for scale you can see that it's slowly going up so you can use gravity feed you can use push on the brake pedal uh, you can use a pressure blader pressure bleeder has a gizmo goes on the top and pressurizes this uh, both at the same time plus the bottle allows fluid to go refill this so you gotta be careful you don't have this go too low here's a motor products top for pressure bleeding it's got a rubber top on it it's got two holes here just kind of slid over uh, allows the fluid to come through it has some chains that you put on and some wing nuts that pulls this down to forms a seal and what you got to do is make sure that that's sealed before you even with it holds air before you go through and use uh, your bleeder here pressure bleeder the pressure bleeder just basically looks like a uh, spray bottle for weeds it's got a pressure gauge and what you do is hook this up and then you pressurize this to where it'll hold say at least 15 pounds and you want to goof around and get this adjusted with the uh, chains and the thing so it'll actually hold pressure before you put the fluid in here if you put the fluid in first it's all going to be coming out in weird places it, it'll it can come off on the top edge so I prefer to put this on uh, pressurize it up make sure this is sitting right and then I go ahead and put the fluid in here and what it'll do is it'll do the makeup so as it displaces fluid there's fluid that will come in here go bound through the two holes into the chamber and you can put in I mean as little as eight ounces in this whatever you want to put in now when I first bled this on the original brakes uh, those came out totally black because hadn't been bled for 25 30 years okay I finally got all the bubbles out of this thing and I usually leave this up here so you can hear it kind of drop in there I've got another older one that has a one-way valve on it. I've got a, uh, several other different t types. This is just kind of hard to get at right here. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the brake lines on here. So I'm just trying to get this to clean up. It's got a new hose to put on it. Put a new double flare over here. Uh, the hoses were completely blocked on this car. And this is actually much better than it was before. Originally came out totally black.